so let me just break down NVIDIA VARM here for a moment, because I think that's really important yeah, as, as we look is, forward. Yeah. As we look at NVIDIA, they make these graphics processing units effectively that go into data centers. And as we use products like ChatGPT, these are trained on huge amounts of data which require massive computing power, and that's NVIDIA's strength in the data center. And then when we use those, we, we go on our browser, we use ChatGPT, uh, and that effectively is all coming from the cloud. Now, ARM's hope, uh, SoftBank's hope here, is that in the next few years, running these expensive and, and data-intensive processes in the cloud is quite difficult, and it's not that every company can do it. But what might happen, and what the hope again is, is that these AI processes happen on a device. So right. they happen on your smartphone, on your laptop, on your fridge, wherever it might be. Which is what Qualcomm's also betting on too. Which is also it? what Qualcomm's betting on. And ARM's strength is right there. Low power consumption chips, which are able to do very high computational right. processes on the device. My and that's where, Question is, where does it, when does that happen? Now, I spoke to uh, uh, an analyst yesterday who was suggesting that is three to five years out yet in terms of making any difference to ARM's revenue. Uh, so that's not something we're going to see in the near term. That's not what they're hoping on now. To your point, Steve, it's very much still on smartphones. It's a stagnating market, slowing market. That's really where they make the bulk of their revenue from still, from the royalties and licensing fees that uh, companies make in smartphone chips are paying to ARM, mm. and that's really where the bulk of, so of the their business is. So the question is whether...